Hi, good morning. Welcome to Budak Securities Weekly Fundamental Podcast. This is Rini Mehta. Sensex and Nifty gained around 0.8% each over the last week, while mid-cap and small-cap indices outperformed their larger peers significantly. The market sentiment remained positive in the run-up to the general elections. And if you see, domestic markets were unfazed by the volatility in the global markets that we saw and remained in a buoyant mode before the start of fourth quarter earnings season as well as the upcoming general elections, as I said. On the economy front, GST revenue collections in February was uh, stood at 1.78 lakh crores, which was up by 11.5% year on year. Coming to the foreign investors' participation, FPI flows are expected to remain volatile. FIIs continue to be net cash sellers to the tune of Rs. 3,836 crores so far in April. In emerging markets, FPI flows were mixed. Now coming to the stock ideas for the week, we like Zomato. We have a target price of 210. We expect Zomato to report healthy fourth quarter performance driven by 25% year-on-year growth in food delivery, gross merchandise value and 99% year-on-year growth in blanket gross market merchandise value. We expect both businesses to report sequential contribution margin improvement driven by better take rate and advertising income. Moving on, lastly, we ha- uh, we or like a GSPL, it is our pick of the week. We have a buy view on the stock with target price of 465. Our FY uh, 24 EBITDA is unchanged as lower volumes is offset by higher realized tariff. We raise FY25 to 96 EBITDA by 3 to 6 percent as GSPL realizes higher tariff on value volumes swapped with Mesana Bhatinda pipeline. Um, uh, so uh, you can consider buying this stock with uh, the target of 465. To know more about uh, um, about our recommendation on this company, you can visit the uh, research section on Kodak Securities website. Uh, that's it from my side today. See you again next week. Thank you. Signing off.